OK, here we go. Places, please. Action. When the audience come to see After Dido, essentially they're getting two very different things. One is a performance of Dido and Aeneas, but given as a radio broadcast on the anniversary of his death. Um, but rather than seeing a group of uh, singing actors performing the story, what they're seeing is the effect that the piece has on three people and the singers um, are actually creating the live filming along with the actors. It's a huge challenge for the singers to do this sort of work. Normally they can just concentrate on their characters, the character of Belinda, the character of First Witch or Dido, but here they have to sing the music, maintain character because they're effectively still singing a story, but at the same time they're having to operate lights, moving props, Foley sound effects, filming, which is the huge part of it. And so as well as doing all of that, they have to sing the drama as well, so it's incredibly challenging for them. The stroke of destiny. The orchestra for Dido, because we're at the Young Vic, and also because essentially I think the forces in the first performance would have been quite small, is very small. So it's really a string quartet, uh, and then we've got a guest viola de gamba player and uh, lute and guitar player and I direct from the harpsichord. The orchestra is actually on stage at the side so they'll be much more visible um, than normally we're not stuck sort of down deep in a pit. This is something very different because it's all created live um, and I think it does have a consequence on the way it's sung and played. Essentially I find the way I'm reading it is a much cleaner sort of approach. I think particularly in Baroque music and particularly with a masterpiece like Dido, it's very easy to become very sort of reverential and also very sentimental. What I'd like to bring uh, to this performance is obviously to be as true to the music uh, and the score as possible, but essentially also um, in response to what Katie has done with it is to bring a sort of rigour and um, neatness to the score. Oh, yeah. 